Okay, so this is a request by Brother Jake. He wanted a uh, tour of my bookshelf, and I know a lot of the other brethren have been uh, very curious as to what kind of books are on this shelf as well, so I'm doing this video for all of you. This is basically just going to be a quick bookshelf tour, just of all the uh, materials that I've collected throughout my uh, time being saved and time in this ministry. And uh, we'll go ahead and start below the very lowest part lowest parts of the shelves all right so right here actually we have a couple of some jumbled up things we have an actually a new church bible publishers bible that i got from my wife as a uh, a gift and um this uh this is really nice this is actually the uh a scope it's actually the old uh schofield without the notes basically to where the margins are actually on the bottom of the pages and stuff like that. So you can actually write your notes basically at the bottom. If you've ever seen what a Schofield study Bible looks like, the notes are all at the bottom underneath the scriptures basically. And uh, this is actually hers. And uh, we have a little book. I found this at like a little garage sale. It's the Mayo Clinic. It's basically a huge health book. You know, it just has the anatomy and stuff like that of, um, of people. It's just pretty cool. And then right here, we have my family Bible. It's actually World Publishing, and World Publishing I don't particularly recommend because they have self-pronouncing texts. I've noticed uh, reading some of their um, King James Bibles. And then uh, right here is, uh, let me see if I can get this out, the time chart of biblical history. So this is basically a huge, uh, basically of charts and stuff like that of the history of um, the the Bible and things. It's a really really good book. And then right right underneath that, I have the uh, time chart of history of Jewish civilization. So another chart just outlining all that. And then up here on shelf number two, we have um, I don't know if you can see that too well. Basically, uh, Patriots, this right here is a Patriots history of the United States. Let me, there we go. Get the light there. Yeah, it's just a book from, uh, just a Patriots view of uh, United States history, just basically for reference for history and things like that. And then we have here a uh, Webster's 7th seventh, uh, New Colgate Dictionary. And then right here we have, uh, let me see, sorry if the lighting's kind of bad, but basically a history of the Jewish people in the time of Jesus Christ. There's about a couple of volumes, volumes one, two, three, uh, about up to three or four volumes of this stuff. And then we have archaic words and the authorized version by uh, Dr. Lawrence Vance. Very good book. I highly recommend that. And then we have here another uh, Webster's Dictionary. Right here we have the new King Jimmy Study Bible, the uh, MacArthur Study Bible. I plan on doing a video of this in the future exposing it. And then right here we have an NRSV Catholic Edition. This thing I've shown before in previous videos. If you haven't seen my other videos on my second channel, the new Bible Perversions Exposed, I highly recommend you go watch those because this, I expose how they have the Apocrypha right in with the Old Testament as if it's full-on inspired canon. And we have an ESV and an Almanac of World History. Just good reference for history of the world, things like that. I like history. And then New Age Versions by Gail Ripplinger. Many people know this book. It's a well-known book right here. And then Israel, A Deadly Piece of Dirt by Peter Ruckman. And then we have Bible Babble. Uh, let me get more down here. Yeah, we have Bible Babble right here. Very good book by Dr. Pierre S. Ruckman, of course, the new versions and how they all lead to a babel. Right here, uh, this, I'm actually really not going to go into this. This is an old book that I uh, got from somebody called The Ultimate World Order, and it's a very wicked 
uh, piece of propaganda attacking uh, the Jewish people and things like that. Um, definitely don't recommend this. As a matter of fact, this will be in my throwaway soon. Now I just remembered it's still on my shelf. Book of Enoch, apocryphal book, not inspired canon. Very, very heretical stuff in this book, but, you know, good reference material in case you get heretics that think it's a part of canon. You can, you know, show them some of the heresies that are preached in this. And then Marriage, Divorce, and Remarriage by Dr. Peter S. Ruckman. Very good book. And a lot of these are, a lot of, Ruckman's done a lot of booklets. So another booklet is The Judgment Seat of Christ, talking about your rewards and things like that. Really good artwork on this. I'll bring this out. You see a, a Christian right there at the judgment seat and the Lord holding up the crowns in the fire. You know, as the Bible says, our, our work shall be tried by fire. And then, let's see here. Next up is The Two Raptures, Peter S. Ruckman, Church, Saints, Tribulation, Saints. And then we have The White Throne Judgment, again, Peter S. Ruckman. Eternal Security, excellent book right here. I highly recommend any new Christian that's new to their walk with the Lord really get a copy of Eternal Security. Very good book by Brother Ruckman. And How to Teach Dispensational Truth, another excellent book by Brother Ruckman. Definitely helps you to understand right divisions and things like that in the scriptures. And then, of course, the... The Case for Christ by Lee Strobel. I've had this uh, book for quite a while, and this is a little, you know, a little apologetics book. And while I don't particularly recommend apologetics anymore after really studying the whole thing out, but after you're saved, there's nothing, of course, wrong with knowing the evidence of the of the uh, the Bible, things like that. But you know, if you ever thought that you came to the Lord through evidence, you're probably not saved. You don't come to God. Through evidence, you come to him as a sinner. I'm going to put this down there. I can't put it back in. <laughs> and let me see here. And uh, The Sure Word of Prophecy, Peter S. Peter S. Ruckman again. Very good book. Highly recommend that. And then, okay, finally get up for a sec. Well, actually, I'll go ahead and go right down here. Go across. This is a, a world almanac, again, of uh, some, some history and stuff like that. These I just found kind of like they were th being thrown out. The book, uh, the book of Knowledge, just as some encyclopedias going over a whole bunch of different stuff. You know, you can never have too many uh, cool informational books. And then um, right here are some southern cookbooks that, again, I found that were just being thrown out that were free. And, I mean, you, you know, you get cookbooks that are being thrown out for free. I mean, why not? <laughs> And uh, it's this one. Okay. And then, of course, another poultry cookbook. And we have Natural Cures They Don't Want You to Know About. I have not read this. I'm not even really sure what this whole thing is about. But Natural Cures, I'm all about, you know, reading about those types of things and stuff like that because... The fact of the matter is the pharmaceutical pharmaceutical industry doesn't want you looking into natural stuff. They'd rather use their chemicals on you all the time, make you a guinea pig, and get you sick. And these are just some computer things, Adobe After Effects, stuff like that. Right here I have Drawing Men to Christ, Three Sessions on Evolution by Peter S. Ruckman, DVD. Very good stuff, very informational, that uh, one about evolution. And I have here Absolute Essentials by Peter S. Ruckman. Another good DVD. And I do have Kent Hovind's Creation Seminar. Now, I don't recommend Kent Hovind. He has become a heretic. He is a full-on post-trib, and I cannot um, endorse him at all. Uh, I, I don't think he uh, – he's, he's in his affidavit, he's actually stated that he was – that creation science evangelism was uh, created as an ecumenical type of ministry. And after reading that documentation stuff, I can never actually recommend him and stuff. I like the work he's done in evolution, but the fact of the matter is is – Kent Hovind, as far as I can tell, is lost and on his way to hell. And uh, Drawing Men to Christ, again, Tongues, Signs, and Healing, very good DVD by Peter S. Ruckman. If you're definitely um, someone that 
uh, Can't Stand Charismatics. This is definitely a good DVD for you to check out. Very good study on that. And The Secret History of the Jesuits. No good um, Bible believer cons uh, that's into conspiracy cannot have a collection without having this book right here. This book goes into everything about the Jesuits. I mean, they're old history. You know, they even tried to they even tried to infiltrate Japan and things like that. It's all in this book, and this is really great. I highly recommend The Secret History of the Jesuits. If you want to know who runs the world, New World Order and all this stuff, you want to know who's the top, it's the Jesuits, all right? It's not the Jewish people or anything like that. But yeah, there's a couple of the Rothschilds and things. I understand the banking system, but that's a whole different story. That doesn't give any anti-Semite the right to condemn all the Jewish people just because a few high-level types of Jews, and they're not even Jews according to actual descent, the Rothschilds and things like that, but the Jesuits overrule all of them. The Vatican's behind it all. And if you don't believe that, well, I would just say you're lost. And Catechism of the Catholic Church, you know, their documentation of their beliefs and things like that and what they believe. And yes, you will find things such as the post-trib rapture heresy, work salvation. That's all a part of Catholic teaching. Here is an old, old King James Bible that I ripped up and destroyed. <laughs> I took it with me everywhere, and this is a dollar store Bible, so this thing has just been torn apart in the time that I read it and used it. All right, and now second shelf. Uh, okay. All right, so right here we have the full cup, which is by Peter S. Ruckman, of course. Very excellent book. And we have Theological Studies, Volumes 1 and 2 by Peter S. Ruckman. Just going into theology. Let's see if I get the lighting. That's better. Theology and things like that. And then Theological Studies 2 is Alberto Rivera for real. And this is Alberto Rivera. And if you don't know the story of this, I highly recommend you check out this book. How to Teach the Bible, Peter S. Ruckman. Very important, very good book to read. If you are someone that's getting ready to go into ministry, you're a young brother in the Lord and things like that, I highly recommend you check this out and give it a read before you um, really start getting started with the ministry. Just some good pointers that Brother Ruckman has to give to anyone uh, who's, who's definitely being called. The Alexandrian Cult Series, of course, many of, uh, many of you brethren know out there what the Alexandri Alexandrian Cult is. You know, there's no perfect Bible, no perfect standard, therefore man has to keep on changing and revising until they actually reach a perfect standard, which will never happen according to these heretics in their mindset. Let's see if I can get you back in there. As you can see, these books do not like to go back in without a fight. Okay. Now, the seven sevens, all about the number seven and things like that. The seven is the number of God. It's the number of completion. It appears many times in the King James Bible. And no, that is not numerology as some people think. It's just Bible numerics. That's all that stuff is. And then right here we have seven resurrections. Then we have... Life, Love, and Laughter, Peter S. Ruckman. Here we have the Anti-Intellectual Manifesto. And then we have Survey of the Authorized Version, Peter S. Ruckman. And we have Man, Myth, Messiah, another apologetics book. You know, just overall evidence and stuff like that. It's nothing, not, as I said a little bit ago, there's nothing wrong with apologetics after you're saved just to strengthen your your walk and things like that and things but if you came to if you think you came to the Lord through evidence based stuff and you didn't come to him as a broken sinner over your sins and put your faith in the actual gospel you're just as lost as the next person you don't come to the Lord through um, through evidence or anything like that you come to him by faith you come to him by brokenness over your sins so apologetics is good but make it for after you're saved and uh, Discrimination, the Key to Sanity, Dr. Peter S. Ruckman. The Holocaust, a huge, massive book just all about the Holocaust and things like that and the Nazis. And uh, 
Yeah, to all the Holocaust her the Holocaust denying heretics and all of them that out there that deny that that whole thing happened, I'd really like to see you go through this whole book right here and tell me that and just debunk all this evidence because the Holocaust did happen. And anyone who says that it doesn't is just a Vatican papal papal agent. That's all they are. And then in all of whoop, whoop, almost dropped my phone, uh, in all of thy word by uh, Gail Ripplinger, excellent stuff, all about the King James Bible. The History of the New Testament Church, Volumes 1 and 2. Very, very good stuff right there. And as you can see, it's massive. Probably one of the most, the most massive book on this shelf by far. And just history is important, especially church history. The Dollar and the Vatican. An excellent book about the Vatican being behind the dollar and things like that in currency. And then, of course, another Webster's Dictionary. And then Fox's Book of Martyrs. Every every Christian needs to own this book and read it because it's so important to understand exactly what our previous brethren and stuff like that over the years went through. They went through a lot to um, to for us to have the King James Bible and things like that. And they went up through a lot through uh, persecution through the Roman Catholic Church. And it's just very important that all the brethren out there really read this and get a good understanding of what you know just what exactly early Christians went through. And, of course, Dr. Lawrence Vance, The Other Side of Calvinism. Very excellent book debunking the whole system of Calvinism. Of course, I've not read that one yet. I plan on at some point in the near future, but it's just a huge breakdown. Very long book right there. And then the Old Schofield Study Bible. This is a good one right here. I have this for reference, of course. You know, There's nothing wrong with reading study Bibles from previous dispensational brethren. Just whatever you do, don't ever hang on tooth and nail to a man and his notes and everything because there are areas where he can very well be wrong and you just got to be ready to uh, just chew the meat and spit out the bones, so to speak, to just mark them where they're wrong on something and enjoy what they do have to reveal that the Lord revealed to them. Occult ABC, book on the occult. The Canon of Scripture by F.F. F. Bruce. Now, I'm well aware that these, uh, that Metzger and F.F. F. Bruce and them, that they're not King James Bible believers and stuff. They're critical of the King James text. But if you understand informational material like that, just mark these guys where they attack the King James in any way and just avoid that. But anything else they have to give is um, very good stuff. This book is basically a ta uh, just ripping the apocrypha apart showing how it's not a, a part of the canon of scripture which is a good thing but these guys in particular i know are not king james bible believers and then we have bible study charts and outlines peter s ruckman excellent book showing all kinds of charts that he has masonry beyond the light if you want to know a bunch about masonry and stuff and what they believe this is an excellent book to get it'll give you a breakdown and just Everything you need to know about those wicked masons. All right. And now we have – now this book right here, I highly regret I even bought it. I thought it was something cool about the – I thought it was something interesting about the occult. All it is is some esoteric garbage talking about esoteric symbolism in the Bible. It's, uh, it was just – it was not what I thought it was, and I, I just gra grabbed it thinking it was a good book. I don't recommend this book at all. I, I'd say just stay away from it. It's kind of – it's a waste of time. And I'll be going to throw away pile at some point. And then the Unknown Bible, Holy Bible by Peter S. Ruckman. And let's see here. And what does this what does the Bible say about salvation? And then the damnation of a nation. Peter S. Ruckman. Then we have God is Love by Peter S. Ruckman. Very, very good book. Trying to get best lighting that I can. There we go. Then we have Masonic. Masonic and Occult Symbols. Very excellent book right there on the whole occult stuff. Then we have some chick 
some chick comic books these are really good jesuits and uh, of course i have more the uh four four horsemen the uh, angel of light the uh spell spellbound alberto that's referring to the uh, alberto rivera uh book that i showed just a little while ago and then double double cross the godfathers <laughs> yeah yeah very interesting stuff and then uh the pro the prophet those are very very good i highly recommend those comic books if you don't have them definitely get yourself a copy of those and then science and philosophy by peter s ruckman two little two other webster's dictionaries jesus on trial got this from my grandfather another apologetics book examining the evidence and yada yada about the lord and things like that and again you know apologetics is good for after you're saved but don't ever make it the basis of why you're saved you're saved by faith you're saved by grace through faith but um very good book for uh, just the evidence of the lord of course and there's so much evidence regarding the bible you'd have to be a real idiot not to uh not to realize that but of course the uh the atheists are willfully ignorant an introduction to the Apocrypha, that's Bruce Metzger again attacking the Apocrypha. And as I said, Bruce Metzger and all them, they're not King James Bible believers to my knowledge. Ruckman's Apocalypse, very good book, has a lot of his artwork in it. And then Bible Numerics by Peter S. Ruckman. By Five Heresies Examined, Peter S. Ruckman. Segregation or Integration, What Sayeth the Scriptures, Peter S. Ruckman. Body, Soul, Spirit, Peter S. Ruckman. Biblical Scholarship, Peter S. Ruckman. Kingdom of the Cults by, uh, uh, I think it's, I think Ravi Zacharias endorses this book and it's written by Walter Martin, but just the examination of cults and things like that in America, basically. And then, uh, Which Bible Would Jesus Use? by Jack McElroy. Chick Publications. Or, I'm sorry, is this Chick, Chick Public? I think this is Chick Publications. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. But that's an excellent book, too, on the King James Bible. Africa and the Bible. Very good reference material regarding uh, the Bible and history and things like that. And I do have Sam Gipps, uh, Sam Gipps' understandable history of the Bible. Again, all about the King James. Don't really recommend Sam Gipp too much because, I mean, I, I don't know if I really can at all considering his weird teaching on the whole Emmanuel thing. If many of you are not aware of that, he briefly mentioned how Jesus' name will not be Jesus or something like that in the Millennial Kingdom. Just kind of, just really heretical. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know where he came up with that, but definitely can't uh, endorse someone that kind of, says weird stuff like that and then uh ancient egypt this is a book with uh egyptian artwork and things like that and really good book against uh black you know black hebrew black hebrew israelites because it actually has pictures in it and everything of how there were you know tan people and stuff like that in egypt and they were not all black and stuff and it's just that whole black hebrew israelite thing is a whole whole nother study and uh, Viewing the Truth, Peter S. Ruckman, very good stuff, a bunch of his sermons. And uh, this is a workout book. I'm into, many of you brethren know I'm very much into physical fitness and weightlifting and stuff like that, men's body sculpting, just basic workouts. I actually don't recommend that book. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the information regarding um, physical fitness and working out for men is, is very much misinfo. Uh, in the fitness world because the fitness world is very much built on filthy lucre. They just want nothing but money, so they'll lie and, and tell. Uh, these are two yearbooks, by the way. Don't really need to. Those have no real, they're not really important, my yearbooks <laughs> from when I was in high school. But, um, yeah, the, uh, the uh, fitness industry is just full-on corruption. P people just want to get rich, so they'll tell you fake workouts or false plans of nutrition in order to make you keep coming back for more and trying to get more and more stu uh, stuff out of their training. If you want, the only thing I could ever recommend as far as fitness is athleanx.com or athleanx on YouTube because they 
Jeff Cavalier actually knows what he's talking about when it comes to fitness. But now that I'm done with that rabbit trail, uh, why I'm not a new age global citizen, Peter S. Ruckman. The Monarch of Books, Peter S. Ruckman. Why I'm not a Campbellite, Peter S. Ruckman. Fact, Faith, Feeling, Peter S. Ruckman. The NIV, Peter S. Ruckman, of course. The God Called Preacher, Peter S. Ruckman. Ruckman's Battlefield Notes, Peter S. Ruckman. <laughs> Where Do the Dead Go, Peter S. Ruckman. The Restoration of Israel, Peter S. Ruckman. Hyper Dispensationalism, Peter S. Ruckman, the Bread of Life, and you see the guy just cutting it up like crazy. Professional, the Professional Liars in Action, Peter S. Ruckman. <laughs> see the long noses. You know, Pinocchio thing. Tongues, Signs, and Healing, Peter S. Ruckman. From Every People and Nation, just a basically a very um, informational book about uh, just um, basically uh, th historical things about uh, people and stuff like that in the Bible. Just uh, This is actually a good book for refuting the black Hebrew Israelites and stuff like that. But of course, these people, as far as I know, are not King James Bible believing either. So be careful whenever you uh, get get information from uh, people that are not King James Bible believing, just mark them where they're wrong if they ever say anything against the King James text. And then I have KJV Apocrypha, the two Babylons. Very excellent book right there, talking all about the Roman Catholic Church. Babylon Religion, David Daniels, of course, Catholic Church again. And then uh, E equals MC squared, Peter S. Ruckman. Modern Charismatic Revival Doctrines Examined, Peter S. Ruckman. The Complete People and Places of the Bible, another history book just going over uh, people and stuff like that in the Bible. How to Teach the Original Greek by Peter S. Ruckman. Manuscript Evidence, Peter S. Ruckman. Hyper Calvinism, Peter S. Ruckman. And another KJV Apocrypha. I actually wound up getting two copies whenever I ordered this and stuff, and so I just decided to keep both copies. The Mythological Septuagint, Peter S. Ruckman. Very good book against the Septuagint. Don't believe that lie. They're just, that's a um, bunch of scholar nonsense and propaganda. The Last Grenade, Peter S. Ruckman. Christian Liars Library by Peter S. Ruckman. The Answer Book by Sam Gipp. The Corrupt Catholic Cult, Peter S. Ruckman. Pat, the Path of the Second Advent, Peter S. Ruckman. The Simplicity of Salvation, Peter S. Ruckman. The Power of Negative Thinking, Peter S. Ruckman. Very good book right there. The Death of Biblical Doctrine, Peter S. Ruckman. Errors in the King James Bible, excellent book. Of course, I highly recommend this to everyone. And as you can see, it got kind of ripped up because I had taken it places with me just to read it and things. And yeah, I mean, excellent, excellent uh, book, uh, just destroying all the objections against the King James text. Why I'm Not a Calvinist, Peter S. Ruckman. Is Noah the Missing Link? Peter S. Ruckman. Uh, I'm, that's not Peter. I'm sorry. That's uh, Dr. Paul E. Heaton. This is actually going over the uh, Leviathans and things like that in the uh, in the, the Bible, just uh, debunking that whole thing because creationists will have you believe that the Leviathan and things like that were dinosaurs. It's Satan. All right, you can't can't go to Job if you're that desperate to prove dinosaurs in the Bible. You you better just just give up. I mean. Uh, I believe dinosaurs were part of their creation, sure. I believe that there are that the Bible is referring to dinosaurs when it says dragons in the King James text and things, but 
don't run to Leviathan and the behemoth to try to prove dinosaurs. You're just, yeah. And uh, Acts 2, uh, Acts 2, The Road to Hell by Peter, uh, by Ted, by Ted L. Warmack. About the new King James Version, <laughs> as you can see, Brother Ruckman had a great sense of humor. <laughs> Why I'm Not a Seventh-day Adventist, excellent book. Why I'm Not a Charismatic, another excellent book. The Mark of the Beast, excellent book. Black is Beautiful by Peter S. Ruckman, excellent book right there. One in 23 million, Peter S. Ruckman. The Bible, a deadly book, Peter S. Ruckman. Rome, the Great Private Interpreter. Peter Pure S. Ruckman. And then, uh, and then Genesis, the uh, uh, Bible Believers Commentary on Genesis by Pure S. Ruckman, Bible Believers Commentary on Exodus, Bible Believers Commentary on Joshua. Bible Believer's Commentary on Judges and Ruth. Bible Believer's Commentary on Job. Bible Believer's Commentary on Psalm, Psalms. Bible Believer's Commentary on uh, Psalms Volume 1 and 2. And then Bible Believer's Commentary on Proverbs. Bible Believer's Commentary on Ecclesiastes. Bible Believer's Commentary on Song of Solomon. Ezra and Nehemiah. The Minor Prophets, which is Hosea through uh, Nahum. Daniel. This is actually a fairly new one. This is actually after Brother Ruckman had passed away. Try to get the lighting better, I'm sorry. The Minor Prophets, Habakkuk through Malachi. And then Matthew, Luke, John, Romans, First and Second Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, and Colossians. The Pastoral Epistles, which is First and Second Timothy. Uh, and then the First and Second Thessalonians, Hebrews. The General Epistles, General Epistles Volume 2, and then the Book of Revelation. And Acts is out right now because I'm currently reading through that one. And then finally, we have, we'll go ahead and start over on this side. We have the Nicene and Post-Nicene Fathers. These are all reference, basically kept for reference materials. These are just the original heretics, you could call. You could call it, these are the... Um, Basically, the like the beginnings of Roman Catholicism. I have all these volumes. You have Augustine, um, Chrysostom, and uh, you have uh, Eusebius. You have Socrates. Just all these volumes. I know a lot of the brethren always ask me what these books are, and it's just the you know the you know the Church Fathers. <laughs> They're not fathers. They're all heretics. But it's good reference material just to kind of see their quotes and what they said. These these are the these guys are the originals that started a lot of these heretics and wicked things that you see today with Catholics. But I have all that up into up to anti Nicene and so on and so forth. And that is it for this bookshelf tour. That is pretty much everything that's on my shelf aside from a couple of couple that are missing right now, such as the scholarship only controversy and uh, things like that. And, um, yeah, so if any of these, any of these books really uh, piqued your interest and stuff, I'd recommend, brethren, that you definitely check as many of them out as you can because you can never have uh, too, much, too much reading in your life, that's for sure. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this, uh, this, is, this is especially for Brother Jake because I know he really wanted this, me to do this video and showing the bookshelf and things like that. And, uh, yeah, and I just pray this is a blessing to you, brethren, that uh, if any of you found any of these books piquing your interest that you just definitely go uh, and pick them up. But that is it for this video, brethren. Thank you all very much for watching.